Hello there, YouTube. Hickcock 539C owners. You're probably the only one of these testers who's thinking about getting one. Uh, as I got off into uh, this tester and started learning some things on the internet, there was some information that I was kind of surprised to see that's not common knowledge out there. This is a topic about power. Just about any tube tester that has a line set or test, which you're basically setting the aligned voltage coming into the tester with uh, with uh, what you see in this section of the tester. Uh, back in the day, most tube testers that are made from the 40s and 50s were designed to run on a voltage of 110 volts. Most all the line coming in the houses at that time was 110. Uh, over the years, they've creeped the power up to get better performance, electric motors, refrigerators, air conditioners, and so forth. Well, by doing that, they kind of left the old equipment uh, out in the rain, so to speak, because it's not really designed to run on that voltage. And so what happens is, when you turn down that, uh, that resistor to cut back that power, that wattage, it actually loads up on the board itself in the tube tester, and you may notice some of your old tube testers, they run kind of warm. Uh, I know this one, if you would felt the, uh, felt the uh, tester after you ran it for a while, it, uh, it felt kind of hot. Now, that's undue uh, stress on the tube tester itself. So here's what I did, and after some research, and probably what a lot of us should be doing with our older tube testers, that are worth some bucks, and this one here is worth about fifteen to eighteen hundred dollars. So you don't want to burn out transformers and and put it through unnecessary stress. If you look right here, this is an old transformer. Now these transformers uh, are are step down, step ups, as in they they actually can step up the uh, uh, the volts as well as step it down. Uh, now this transformer here. I have set to run just a little over 110 volts. It's a common transformer. You got to work plugs in the wall. And this is where your tube tester will plug in the back. You plug other things in it as well. But it will match your old tube tester to the older voltage that it was designed on. You can see I have another one there back up. But these old uh, power step up, step downs are easy to come by. And you see them on eBay. And they're relatively inexpensive. I'm sure they'll be that way until people start catching on and uh, start buying them up and uh, hoarding them. Because <laughs> that happens to a lot of these old electronics. You know, I can remember a few years ago, man, you couldn't get uh, $200 for this tube tester. It was the best one there was, but now the tubes are be are, uh, are becoming so sought after, and they ain't making no more new ones that are worth a, fl a flip. Uh, the old tube stuff is really getting on up there. So in order to protect your uh, your old uh, nice tube uh, testers as well as other testing equipment, uh, for your consideration, start thinking about maybe one of these transformers and get your voltage where it should be and get some stress off of that old gear. Uh, this is, by the way, the Model 539C Hickok tube tester. I think it's the best one they ever made. And I uh, hope you enjoyed this uh, video and hope it was a little informative. Okay, guys.